Hello everybody, happy holidays. I hope everybody enjoyed uh, Christmas um, and whatever else you may celebrate around the world. Um, I had an enjoyable uh, few days with family and it was nice and relaxing. Um, got some painting done and had a wonderful Christmas day with my wife and daughter. Uh, so I just thought I'd do a quick little update for you all. Show you what I painted in the last, uh, actually like in the last four days, I guess. I painted a mini art, 1 16th scale Athenian hoplite. So some of you remember I tried to do a musketeer some months back, maybe towards the beginning of this year, and I had some issues with it. Um, with it falling apart when I tried to paint it. This time um, I picked this up at the local uh, model show in September or October, whenever that was, and uh, decided to put it together. I did that this past Saturday, started painting it, and I finished it um, Christmas Day evening, I guess, something like that. So it only took a few days to actually put together and paint and everything, so I thought I'd just show it to you. Uh, again, it's a 1 16th scale figure. It's all plastic. And much like most mini art figures, it took a lot of um, plastic putty to fill the gaps and the seams and everything else. Hopefully, uh, most of that won't show up uh, as you're looking at it. It looks pretty invisible to me, but under a camera, who knows what it'll look like. So hopefully, it won't look horrible. Um, let me just zoom back here so you can see the whole figure. i just turn it around. And I'll do this again in a little bit of a zoom so you guys can see it a little bit better. I will say that this one was a little bit easier to put together, uh, but like I said before, it definitely had its issues with um, gaps and mismolded plastic. I went with a little bit of a darker skin tone for this guy. If I can get it to focus, there we go. Um, one with a little bit darker skin tone uh, when I was looking online and other people have done this they were doing them almost like Wisconsin white I mean like the people weren't spending any time out in the sun at all which just didn't seem natural to me um, I figure for this time period and everything everybody would, would be outside a lot they would be Definitely tan, definitely a little bit darker skin. So I went with a little bit darker skin tone for this. You'll notice here for the scabbard, um, my wife's sewing kit came to the rescue because the kit does not have any way to attach the scabbard to the model. So I found some thread um, that I thought was an appropriate size and uh, essentially made a little bit of a loop around the two ends of the scabbard where I thought it would attach and um, went with that you see a little bit more of the detail on the arm it's actually very nice the veins and everything else on here are actually turned out really well um, the other thing that was kind of weird about this is the way the model is set up. He's not supposed to be wearing the helmet. It's supposed to be resting off the top of his head. Kind of like he's pushed it up. Um, but with this extra piece on here, uh, it doesn't fit. It won't do that. Um, so I ended up uh, having him wear it. His face is fully painted and everything else. 
Uh, one of the other, let's see if I can zoom back here a little bit. One of the other things that was a bit of a problem was the decal for the shield. It's very, very, very thick, and it took a lot of microsol to um, soften the decal so that it would actually lay flat. It took a while, and it did not conform to the bend in the shield itself for several hours. I kept reapplying. I don't know how many coats of microsol I put on this just to get it to lay flat and get all the air bubbles and everything else out of this, so it would look okay. Um, zoom back in here real quick. There's that. A little shot of his of the back you know zoom out a little bit again some nice detail work again the back of the leg had some huge mold seams that had to be dealt with the other side again overall I think it turned out really well oh and I did paint this all with uh, artist acrylics the bronze armor and the shield is actually from uh, AK Interactive. Uh, it's kind of a wax type uh, um, product, so it actually buffs up really nice once it dries. You put a a, a, a soft cloth over it and just kind of buff it up and it really shines up really nicely it's actually a nice product um so i did that uh like i said i did it i started it last saturday i finished it on christmas day so what four days worth of work i guess so not too bad um despite my issues with uh, getting it built uh, it actually turned out pretty well let's see if i can take the uh helmet off there's the helmet or there's his face without his helmet on you notice he has no hair other than his beard and what is actually underneath the helmet it actually does come with hair but if you were to put the hair on it you wouldn't be able to put the uh, helmet on him so it's an odd, it's an odd choice by Mini Art for that. Um, also, been working on my grenader here. Let's pan down a little bit. We can get them to come in focus. There we go. Getting there. Uh, adding more detail to it and I've been doing some research and I have some questions that maybe some of you guys out there who paint a lot of Napoleonics can help answer um, let me just show you what I've completed here so I started to work on his his haversack and his cartridge pouch, scabbard, all the other outlying straps and things like that. But I've started to notice that I'm getting two different types of information. The plate that's on here, these buttons, I've read that they're brass. Then I've read that they are copper. Also, this canteen, I'm assuming is wood. I haven't seen anything that tells me anything differently, but I'm not sure if it's, there's very little information that I found on this. So if anybody knows, that would be great. Um, so these things are, I'm assuming are going to be copper. Same thing with these things down here is copper. And also, um, the buttons 
on here, um, I've read where they're a red copper in color. The same thing with these up here on the lapel. Um, if, but I've also heard that they're brass, so I'm not sure which is what, and I'm not sure if it really matters based on the year that it was either. Also, the same thing with the head plate that's up here on the on his hat. I've heard is also gone. It's either brass or red copper color. If somebody's got a, a better explanation for that, that would be great. I because I'd like to be able to do this correctly, and the model is supposed to be from 1815, if that matters. So if anybody has any uh, any ideas or can give me some suggestions about that, that would be wonderful. Um, oh, last thing. The chevrons here for his rank and for years of service. I've seen everything from yellow to kind of like an orangish color for these. Um, any anybody have an idea as to what actual color they were supposed to be are they supposed to be more yellow um, yeah let me know and uh, that's kind of where I'm at I'm almost done with this obviously I still have the uh, the base to finish up but that should be pretty easy uh, I'm just trying to get some of these small details right um, I've seen where the handle on the sword is kind of a gold color, so I'll probably just do that. Same thing with the tip for the scabbard and for the scabbard for the um, bayonet. Um, I have a little bit more detail work to do on here. I want to do a little bit more, some patches of a lighter where it's kind of been rubbed. A little bit more, you know, well used. I've seen some pictures like that, so I may go with that. Um, that's really all I have at the moment. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. Um, want to wish you all a very happy and prosperous 2019. Um, also would like to thank um, everybody who's joined the channel within the last couple of weeks. I'm now almost at uh, 95 or might have just surpassed 95 people following the channel so thank you everybody that's amazing um, I never would have expected to have gotten that far yet. Um, anybody would even want to watch my little channel here so again I appreciate everything again want to wish you all a very happy and prosperous 2019 and I probably will not do another video until the first week of January or something like that so everybody please be safe if you go out on New Year's Eve if you do anything and uh, everybody have a wonderful wonderful week and uh, see you in 2019 bye for now